What up, everybody? Um, I see y'all flawing on in. What's going on? Oh, shit, we got seven came right on in. You know what? I kind of figured that will work if I do a post ahead of time to let y'all know that I'm going live. Look like that worked. Because y'all just fell up in here with the quickness. My man, John Grip, shared it. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, somebody let the group know that I'm live. Uh, anybody else you think uh, other people want to watch this, you know, share it on your page. Because I think this is going to be a, a good topic. Hey, Krista, how you doing? Uh, Marique, what's going on? Uh, Krista, how you feeling, dear? Uh, my man, Matt is in the building. Uh, who else in the building? Uh, I see Ralph. What up, Ralph? How you doing, brother? What's going on, y'all? Thank y'all for following in. But uh, do me a favor. Uh, if y'all please share this on your pages. I think this is a good topic. Because, you know, you got a lot of parents on Facebook. And they need to hear this, you know. Because uh, y'all might be in trouble if this law passes. So let me put in some information so I can pull up my chat and all this good shit. You know, um... And it's probably just going to be me because uh, I just did this out the whim. So if I had enough time, I probably should have set up my uh, phone call thing or whatnot. I see Blue Mickey picture. What's up, Blue Mickey? You coming in kicking it with your boy? Oh, she's already in there speaking. Okay, that's what's up. So, all right, let me pull up my Facebook reactions. Now, if I pull up my reactions, I better see some likes and shit now. All right, because I bring good content. I'm trying to build my audience, and I'm doing this for y'all, goddammit. So, <laughs> y'all show your boy some love. So, let me do this one last thing. Oops, uh -oh. Blue Mickey, go get Erica. She might want to hear this. Go get Erica. If she's available, go get her. Let's see, did I do that right? Dean Frost, what's going on, man? Dean Frost in the building. Paul Sites, Brother Sites, what's going on, Brother Sites? That's my man, Brother Sites. My, my other brother from another mother. Brother Sites in the building. I got my brother DJ Smooth in the building. Let's see, look like I got three likes. And two hearts. I know we could do better than that. Ralph shared the video. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ralph shared the video. Appreciate it. Let me move this up here some more. So I can see what y'all saying. <clears throat> That's the only thing I hate about the reactions, man. You got to spread this shit out so you can actually see it. So, uh. Let me see if I can fight a few more people. Y'all getting them on up. That's what's up. Let me see if I can fight a few more people, uh, my good peoples. And uh, let's get this party started. Actually, you know what? I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. Do 
Christian said, are these actual defenders of bullets? Well, we, uh, I think they talk more like the people who's doing the bullying. I mean, I don't think nobody should have no problem with nobody defending themselves. Yeah, bro, I should, but right now I don't have enough time to do that. I ain't got enough time to do that right now, so I'm just trying to get this on in and out. You know, um, hmm. Y'all know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that. So let me um, let me pull y'all up over here. They say we got nine in the building. They coming on in. We got nine in the building. Malcolm, he said, what's the topic of discussion? Uh, parents are can face penalty for child bullying. That's the topic, my guy. So you a father, you might want to hear this. You a father, you might want to hear this. So let me uh, shut this down. And that's a matter of fact. Hold on. Yeah, so you, if you're a father, you might want to hear this. Oops. If I had enough uh, time, hey, uh, Michelle, how you doing, boo? If I had enough time, we'd open up a phone line or something if I had enough time. They say we got 10 in the business, so... Uh... <clears throat> All right, let me shout y'all out. Let me see who all up in here. Uh... They say we got my man Chris Coleman, Paul Sykes, we got Christian, we got Ralph, we got Ron, we got Sylvia, we got Malcolm, we got Michelle, uh, Wendy watching. She just popped in. What's up, boo? She just popped in. But it's more than that watching. I can't, it won't let me see who all, who else is watching, but it's all good, though. But anyway, let's get into the story, because y'all know I did a show last night, and I briefly brought this up about bullying. And I be damn somebody posted in the group that, you know, well, goddamn, hold on. Somebody posted in the group that um they talk about their parents can uh, face a fine for um they child child uh, blah, 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 for their child bullying other children. And I said, you know what? This should be interesting, you know, because I always thought about that, you know, if the children are going to school and fuck with other kids instead of getting their education, then what we always say, where does the training start from? It's supposed to start from home. So if there's, if there's no home training at home, how can you expect for home training to be outside in the public? You know, how, how can you expect for training to be outside in the public? You know, you got these kids just fuck with everybody on because uh, they don't have the same thing. Sent, sent them from Mes sent them to Mexico. He said sent them to Mexico. Okay. Uh, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so you got teenagers and other people, you know, who fuck with people. And what do they really fuck with people for? Really because, uh, you know, because they're not normal like them. They don't have the same things that they got. You know, it could be any reasons or even peer pressure or influence from other people to have other people to go fuck with somebody. And if they still do it now, you got other people that bully people just join gangs and shit, you know? So it's just all various types of reasons why people fuck with other kids or fuck with other teenagers or whatnot. But I want y'all to listen to... Uh, what they said right here. And I want to get y'all opinion. I want y'all finna hear real quick. So let me uh, change my scene. And just let y'all hear what uh, Marcus Strahan and the other lady have to say about this. Let's go. Now to a parenting alert about bullying. One town passed the law saying parents can be punished and even spend time behind bars if their child misbehaves. ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with this story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. As a parent, just the thought of your kid being bullied is alarming. But a mom in New York watched this happen firsthand. Her son's story prompting a new law that could make parents pay hundreds of dollars, face jail time, or even both if they don't stop the dangerous behavior. 
This morning, a small town mom whose son was violently bullied is turning her heartache into hard hitting action. It was really traumatic for both of us. Victoria Crago says her son was ruthlessly attacked by an eighth grade classmate right in front of her. This young man just soccer punched him right in the face. He hit him as hard as he could. Crago set up this Facebook page calling out pervasive bullying in her town. The incident with her son sparking outrage. What really alarmed me about the situation was the the brazen act of violence in front of a parent and prompting local lawmakers to pass a sweeping anti-bullying law that puts pressure squarely on parents. The judge could give a fine up to $250 and or 15 days in jail, but in reality what we're looking for is to engage the parent in the process and try and work on a solution. Many parents, like Andrea Ortiz, whose 12-year-old daughter has been a victim of bullying, hope the law will be effective and finally changing some parents' behavior. Andrea writing on Facebook, I just feel this has been talked over and over. You can't make parents parent their kid. You used to, but nowadays. We hope to never need to use this law, but it's there in extreme cases, but we need to do a better job um, and we're continually trying to do that. The new law modeled after a similar push to hold parents accountable in Wisconsin. According to StopBullying.gov, 28% of students from 6th to 12th grade say they've been bullied. Bullying most common in middle school. For Crago, the new laws send a clear and critical message. Parents will pay the price for their kids' bad behavior. And Crago says she hopes this law will serve as motivation for parents to step in quicker. Officials in that western New York town tell us they hope this law will be reserved for isolated incidents where the school system has already done everything in its power to try to stop the bully. There's no place for bullying, and maybe that will make parents engage. Let's sure hope so. And have a different role. All right, thank you, Ariel. And now to a parenting so, alert about bullying. <clears throat> One town passed the law saying parents can be punished and even spend time behind bars if their child misbehaves. And even spend. So what y'all think about that? What y'all just heard? They actually said that uh, I guess once they actually passed the law for them, I guess to go ahead with this or whatnot. Okay. Uh, saying that they could even be charged up to $200 and 15 days in jail. $200 and um, 15 days in jail if their child is found to be the problem of child bullying. So I just want to know, what do y'all really think about this, especially for you who have kids? Now, I like one thing that uh, they say the person said in the tweet. You can't make parents, parents, they kids. And to be honest, no, you can't. You can't make them parent they kids. You can't. But even with that, by that logic or that statement, then if they was to implement something like this in place, then would it give the parents a wake-up call? <clears throat> Izu said, uh, the problem is that we have to break the cycle that these kids, I guess that these kids come from. Is that what you're trying to say? Huh. Okay, I, I think I can understand where you come from with that. Michelle said, uh... Let me see if I can pull up right here. Michelle said, uh, the question is, what's that going to solve? Well, to me, the best answer I could give you to that, what it's probably going to solve is that it would get these parents more involved in these kids' activities at school. I think it would solve that. I... Like Brother Sight just said, it's forcing involvement, but I just don't dig government interference. It's trying to get these parents more involved in, the, in, in, in these kids' uh, activities while they at school. Because think about this. For some reason nowadays, it doesn't seem that many parents are into what kids got going on in school. You know, they don't ever go to the parent-teacher conference. You know, uh, none of that shit. You got a lot of them that just don't do that, you know. 
And I understand, you know, hey, you know, a lot of them just work, and at the times that they probably have them, you know, they probably still at work or this, then, and the third. But I had to ask y'all this question, though. Even though they at work at this time were just not getting off, is there still an excuse to not be involved in your kid's school? Is there still an excuse? Because how you know what's going on when you're not trying to get involved? Again, kids going to school, just fucking with folks for whatever reason what it is. And one of the main things would be, you know what I'm saying, just to please other folks and join gangs and shit. And I said this in one of my streams. You ever had somebody that you grew up with that they was cool with you behind closed doors, but when they get around their little friends or their little homies or whatnot, they start talking shit to you and start treating you different? Hey, y'all ever had that? Well, y'all two alone, they cool as a fan. But soon they get around the other Negroes and the thugs and whoever, they treat you like shit. I have. I have fruit people who used to do me like that. And nine times out of the ten, they folks didn't know what was going on because, you know, folks would never say nothing about it. And if they and if you did say something about it, you know, you got some that will listen to you and try to do stuff to rectify the situation. And you got some that sit up there and tell you and say you can't tell them shit about their kids. They know their kids ain't did this. How you know? You're not out there watching them. How you know? You ain't even involved in their school activities. How you know they not doing this? How you know? So you mean to tell me you got three parents out of five who come in and tell you that your child out here fuck with everybody and doing all this fuck shit. And your only rebuttal is, my child don't do that. No, your child don't do that around you. But if you're not seeing what's going on in the outside world, how the fuck can you tell somebody that your child ain't doing this? Or is it that a lot of them are just in denial? They just don't want to hear it. And then you got some parents that the more you tell them that their child is doing fuck shit, they reward them for their behavior. How you going to reward a child for a fucked a report card? I never got rewarded, but you got some parents that do that now. They reward their kids for having fucked up ass grades. If they got a trip or something, uh, playing going to a water park or something, you bring, and you know, we used to get report cards on Wednesdays. I don't know how they do it now, but on Wednesdays, when it's report card time, we'll get them on Wednesdays. And if we brought that report card home and they have fucked up grades, we ain't going nowhere. But that's not what's going on now. These kids can bring home fuck up, fucked up grades and still get rewarded for it. What up, Wendy? They still get rewarded for it. So, what up, Teresa? So, you got you to gotta look at this. You, you just got to look at this, though, you know. You got to look at the pros and the cons of this situation. You got to look at the pros and the cons of it. On one hand, you know, I can agree with it because a lot of parents need to be more involved in these kids' activities, especially in school. But another reason, on the other flip side, I don't agree with you. you know, I don't think nobody should do no jail time for it because the thing is, you know, we still got stuff to do to provide for the house home. We have to keep the roof over these children's head. We got to pay for all the shit that they need for school. So how is it? I had to get in trouble when I have to go to work and keep providing for me and my child. I can't make it to every damn thing that they do. So why am I being punished for their actions? So you got a couple of ways you can look at this. Like I said, it's a pro and a con to it. And then about the fine, 
I, I, I don't know. I, I read it. Child bullying, I don't think there should be a fine for that. I, I don't. I think the only time there should be a fine involved in this if your children are not going to school. In other words, truancy. Now, if it's truancy, then, yeah, I probably see the fine line with the fine thing. If they going to school, fucking up, and they're not going to school, period, then I can see that. When you say you have some parents that don't care about what their children are doing as long as they are not bothering them. A amen. I said that, too. I've said that, too. Brother Sy says, people are resorting to desperate measures. Things are getting out of control, and folks don't want to handle it. I agree with you on that, too, brother. Let me see what else said. Uh, Ron said, uh, I got to switch from a tree branch. My grades was bad. Yep. Michelle said, uh, it's just like the law they have now. If your child cuts school, the parents get punished for their child action. I disagree with the law. Well, I just got you talking about them, you know. Now, Devin right there, I can kind of rock with because uh, down here in Memphis, Michelle, you in Memphis too. They just said something on the news the other day that over 100 parents are about to get in trouble because their kids are not going to school. Over 100 parents are about to get in trouble because their kids ain't going to school. Now, on truancy, I can kind of rock with that one. I can kind of rock with that one. But the, the real question would be, you know, if they doing this on a constant basis and you being a parent and you'd have done all that you can to try to tell your child that the error of your ways is spilling over into the home. I'm getting in trouble for your actions. What do you do then when you constantly keep talking to them? And ain't shit changing. What do you do then? No, it's not, Brother Sykes. That's not good at all. Over 100 parents. That's not good at all. Michelle said most of these kids are young. Are, I guess you're out too young. That's having kids. Hey, we we can preach that all day. We can preach that all day. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. But see, back in my days, you know, I hey, I'd have cut school a few times, you know. But the truancy things was in effect back then when I was going to school. But it's not as hard as they trying to push it now. It's not near as hard as they trying to push it now. But again, I have to ask the question, though. If you are one of them parents that has done all that you can to get your child on the right track, what more can you do? Is it at that? Do you look at it at that point is it is not the parent. It's the child. Again, you got to look at the pro and the con. You got to look at it then as if it's not the parent, it's the child. So why am I being punished for what my child is doing? I'd have talked to him. I'd have punished him. I'd have whipped him. I did all I can. What more can I do as his parent, as her parent? What more can I do? You got to look at that. Sylvia said, I'm dealing with that right now. My daughter don't want to go to school. Why? Because my daughter is getting bullied. Wow. Sylvia, hey, you talked to the school about that. And if you have, what did they say to you? Brother Sy says, we all cut school, but now kids don't care what their parents do because parents aren't doing anything. We feared that shit back then. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Christian said, Dr. Do Good will get the child on point. Don't go out there acting crazy. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. For most of the kids, yes, Dr. Do Good will do right. Dr. Do Good will do right. But see, now you can't even do that because you whoop your kids now. People want to call child abuse. They call it child abuse, which I think that's the dumbest shit that you could put out there because, um, look, if your kids is bullshitting out in public, they fucking around in public and embarrassing you, talking crazy, falling out all in the flow like they got demons in them or whatnot, you mean to tell me I'm going to get in trouble if I'm going to put some act right in that little something? No. I'll take that. I'll take that. Because one thing I do agree with, if they got the strength to show out in public, I do too. Why, why can't I do it either? Why can't I do it too? Because there's a difference in between beating and spankings. There's a difference between beating and spankings. Ain't nobody saying just go ham on your children because they're acting out in public. No, it doesn't go ham on them. But you need to... You should have the right to show them who is boss. But again, when people see you do this to your children, I don't try to say it's child abuse. So when did it become child abuse? When? That's a question too. When did spanking your child become child abuse? Because if that was the case, then where was the law when we got our ass whooped back in the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s? Where was that law at then when we got our ass whooped? Why wasn't called child abuse then? If you heard some stories that I had heard that people who grew up before me, what they used to get their ass whooped with, then a lot of these kids getting the pass. They getting the pass. When they say these laws are said to be a wake up call for these parents, they don't believe that their kids are bullying others. Some parents, some parents fear their kids could do no wrong. And that's, that's exactly what I said earlier. No, they don't. Brother Sight says, as a parent, you have to understand balance when it comes to discipline. Sylvia says, so I told my daughter to defend herself. And if I call to the principal office, I'm going to tell them I'm proud of her. All right. All right. But the thing is, Steve, it's sad you got to go through that if you constantly telling the people at school that this is going on and nothing is being done, then again, what are you left what are you left to do? Fuck it. If y'all not going to do nothing, then don't get mad when my child defend themselves. When they knock somebody's ass out, don't get mad at me. Don't find me because I'm telling you that these kids fucking with my children. And I came up there more than three times and ain't shit been done. So since y'all ain't doing nothing, then I'm going to let my child do something. Let my child defend themselves. That little Cool J said, mama said, knock you out. Knock that motherfucker out. You can't charge me for that. Y'all ain't doing nothing. You can't charge me for that. Y'all ain't doing nothing. And then Sylvia, if you are doing that, make sure you document everything. Make sure you document everything. Make sure you document when you talk to them, what time, what they said, and everything. We got smartphones now, so you can do everything with smartphones. Record that shit. So when it comes to that time when she knocks somebody's ass out, you got proof that you tried to rectify the situation and these motherfuckers didn't do nothing. Brother Sight says, short answer, folks has gotten, what do you say? He says, short answer, folks has gotten too soft. Yep. 
When it said, well, I spanked mine in public and have told people that they were, that told people that were looking, I'm not afraid of my child. If you want to call the police, I will call them for you. All right. All right. Ron said, um, ain't this shit moving too fast. Hold on. Oh, fuck it. Let me, let me go to the phone. Ron said, uh. He said he got whooped with a broomstick by his mom. Michelle said, I agree. They have these hotline kids can call on their parents, in my opinion, that where the problem starts. I don't understand exactly what you're trying. Well, I think I can make out what you're trying to say. Brother Sykes told Sylvia, and he hopes it works out. Sylvia said, preach. Chris said, children lack discipline, and that's really the problem. Things were different when... God was in school. Uh, <laughs> I, I, well, I, I don't know. I, 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 I can't just really say this is any different. I, I can't just really say that. Uh, Brother Sykes said he had to defend himself in school. He got detention for it, but not suspended. Times sure have changed. Yes, it has, brother. Yes, it has. Ron Matthews says, I believe that a common reason that a kid is a bully is because he or she lacks attention from a parent at home and lashes out at others for attention, which is neglected children. Children of divorced parents or children with parents under the regular influence of drug and alcohol. Well said, Ron. And that's where it's saying. I, 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 I can rock with you on there, brother. I can rock with you on that one. My man Barroso in the building said, hey, guys. So Christian said, the principals don't do anything either. I had to jump in situation just for my youngest sister, which is 17 years old. The other adults don't do anything. Well, Christian, far as that goes now, when I was going to school, the principal was involved. If you go got in trouble in the classroom and the principal got wind of what you did, they used to uh, they used to paddle you. They was allowed to paddle you. Some would paddle you on the butt, and you got some that would slap you with the hand with their with them uh, paddles. They'll pop you in the hand with them paddles. But I think that's one of the reasons why they took discipline out of school because I think some of the principals were getting a little bit overboard, a little bit extreme when they was hitting these children. That's why I believe why they got rid of that in school. But trust me, when I went, them principals didn't play. They didn't. <clears throat> Siva said, I know back in my day I had to defend myself. Why? Because the school would not do anything. Mm-hmm. Russell said he gave up. He said, I'm here. He said, all stars at home. Absolutely. Wendy said, uh, I told mine to kick ass as long as they were defending themselves, but never passed the first lit. Yep. And as a matter of fact, Deccan is still in ducks. Because they, with a lot of times when it comes to the law, the police involved in situations like that when it comes to hitting and domestic violence, usually whoever started it, the ones that get in trouble. Because I'm like that, you know, you can talk all the shit that you want to, but it's all about who's going to pass for a lick. Now, you're going to pass for a lick, then uh, all gloves are off. Because I'm not going to put myself in jeopardy like that. Same thing for these teens and these children who's being bullied. Let the asshole, whoever's sitting up here fuck with you, let them throw the first blow. Because people are going to talk shit regardless. That's just something you can't stop. People are going to talk shit regardless. That's happening everywhere. In schools, out in public, in the park, play yards, everything. That's, that's going to happen regardless. So what you're going to do? You're going to whoop everybody ass that's talking shit? Christian said, that's true, Sylvia. Same here. I defended myself and busting people up. I would tell my son, whoop that behind and call me. I'm going to show up on it. There you go. 
Yeah, after they whoop his ass, go show up. Show up. Because for them to get to fighting, shit had to be brewing. So drinking a bitter. For them to get to fight, you know, stuff had to be brewing. And everybody, like I said last night on my stream, everybody has a button. Once you push that button, then it's on. Once you bag people in the corner, they're going to eventually come out fighting. They're going to eventually come out fighting. I don't think nobody's just going to sit up there and just let you whoop their ass. At least I hope not. Russo said RS. What do you say? RS, the parents of the troublesome kids that paint those kids as complete angels. Uh, hmm. Mm. Mm. Sib said, don't make mama bear come down to the school. <laughs> Barroso said, my kids won't initiate problems, but at the same time, won't take garbage. And they shouldn't have to. They shouldn't have to. They should not have to. So, y'all heard it here. I brought it to y'all. Uh, Barroso, thanks for posting this. Thanks for sending it to me. You know, this is interesting that they're trying to push this. You know, I can understand it, but I don't agree with I don't think I can, can agree with it 100% on what they're trying to do. I, I don't agree with it. Chris is say, hell, I'll take the parents on too. Chris Coleman, my uncle knows. But Russell said, I tell them to stick up for themselves. School calls, I am happy to go take care of it. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. So anyway, though, I'm going to play this for y'all one more time, and uh, I'm going to get on up out of here. Let's go. Now to a parenting alert about bullying. One town passed the law saying parents can be punished and even spend time behind bars if their child misbehaves. ABC's Ariel Reshef is here with this story. Good morning, Ariel. Good morning to you, Michael. As a parent, just the thought of your kid being bullied is alarming, but a mom in New York watched this happen firsthand. Her son's story prompting a new law that could make parents pay hundreds of dollars, face jail time, or even both if they don't stop the dangerous behavior. This morning, a small town mom whose son was violently bullied is turning her heartache into hard hitting action. It was really traumatic for both of us. Victoria Crago says her son was ruthlessly attacked by an eighth grade classmate right in front of her. This young man just sucker punched him right in the face. He hit him as hard as he could. Crago set up this Facebook page calling out pervasive bullying in her town. The incident with her son sparking outrage. What really alarmed me about the situation was the the brazen act of violence in front of a parent. And prompting local lawmakers to pass a sweeping anti-bullying law that puts pressure squarely on parents. The judge could give a fine up to $250 and or 15 days in jail, but in reality, what we're looking for is to engage the parent in the process and try and work on a solution. Many parents, like Andrea Ortiz, whose 12-year-old daughter has been a victim of bullying, hope the law will be effective in finally changing some parents' behavior. Andrea writing on Facebook, I just feel this has been talked over and over. You can't make parents parent their kid. You used to, but nowadays. We hope to never need to use this law, but it's there in extreme cases, but we need to do a better job. Um, and we're continually trying to do that. The new law modeled after a similar push to hold parents accountable in Wisconsin. According to StopBullying.gov, 28% of students from 6th to 12th grade say they've been bullied. Bullying most common in middle school. For Crago, the new laws send a clear and critical message. Parents will pay the price for their kids' bad behavior.
And Crago says she hopes this law will serve as motivation for parents to step in quicker. Officials in that western New York town tell us they hope this law will be reserved for isolated incidents where the school system has already done everything in its power to try to stop the bully. There's no place for bullying, and maybe that will make parents engage. Let's sure hope so. And have a different. I want to point out two things real quick before I get out of here that uh, I'm. Um, I heard it, but forgot to bring it up. One, she said they attacked her son right in front of her face. This showed you that a lot of these young generation have no respect for nobody, you know, which is another reason why I kind of do agree with this. But I want y'all to understand uh, something that they just said, like, right before the end. They said the person said, uh, and I missed that part, the person said, um, you cannot make parents parents they kids you used to but now you can't why can't you what changed what happened what you mean why can't you can't you used to it still can happen you still can control your children and you still can parent your children i think that was a fucked up ass statement and i think that was a bullshit ass statement too So the question I asked to that, you used to, but you can't now. What changed? What happened? Because at the end of the day, you still the parent. Preach. Yeah, I don't too much agree with that statement right there, but. Everybody may see it different. Thank y'all for joining. Y'all have a good night. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. And uh, I'll see y'all next stream. Peace out.